students today we'll talk about punnett square now punnett square is a method by which we can find out the genotypes of the offspring now we can start finding out the genotype of the offspring either from the first generation or on the second generation we'll tell you how we solve the questions on punnett square now punnett square was discovered by renegal c punnett in 1970 Now in this method, we all know that whenever a gamete is formed, then we require two parents. So one is the female. If we talk about parental generation, one is a female, another is male. So whatever the female genotype, let's suppose it has capital R, capital R, and the male genotype is small r, small r. So whatever the genotype it has, both the alleles of the genotype has. and the equal right to segregate the says law of segregation so when it will segregate and form the gametes will have capital r capital r and small r small r now if we want to fuse it we do this type of methods to do the fusion and we will find this this is not a punnett square so what punnett square says now when we talk about punnett square it is a grid system where we arrange the parental gametes in the horizontal as well as in the vertical directions let's suppose this is a grid we will have this way so let's take this as the female gametes and this portion as for the so this is for the male and this is for the female let's suppose now when we define here if it is male we find that let's suppose this is the gametic constituent of that person and for the mother the gametic constituent is let's suppose this now punnett square will act this to this it is capital r with small r this is capital r with small r capital r small r and capital r small r now these four are the gametes which we find in f1 means all the four gametes are of same genetic makeup capital r with small r but there are possibility of four gametes this is f1 let's suppose we have to cross this with this suppose this is the male and this is female so in male this will form two gametes capital r with small r so we'll have this over here and in the female it will again form capital r with small r so here we will have this now we will combine capital r capital r capital r small r capital r small r and capital uh, small r small r so if we look clearly we will find that these two are of same genetic makeup this is one capital r capital r the number of progeny is 1 this capital r small r has 2 and small r small r has 1 so this is known as punnett square we can do the punnett square for dihybrid cross also so we we'll look at one dihybrid cross so it will be very helpful to you to understand when we talk about a dihybrid cross there is two genes let's suppose it is uh, capital r let's suppose it is capital r small r with capital a small a it is fusing or it has been selfing so here this is the male and the female genetic genotype so the gametes formed will be four varieties capital r with capital a capital r with small a small r with capital a and small r with small a 
the same genetic uh, gametic forms will be present in the female also. So if we draw the Punnett square, Here we will have capital R, capital A, capital R, small a, small r, capital A, small r, small a. Here we will have the same capital R, capital, small r, capital A, small r, small a. So again with the same way we will form the combinations. Capital R, capital R, capital R, capital A, R, R, A, A. And this way we will form. But here we will look at there are 14 progenies, uh, sorry, 16 progenies. So out of 16, we will do the counting of what genotype and what is the frequency. We will have a separate video on the hybrid process. Hope it will be helpful. Thank you.